The senator representing Abia Noto, Juzo Kalu, has stressed the need for President Bola Tinubu to take drastic actions in addressing the hardship Nigerians are facing. Senator Kalu made the declaration on Tuesday while briefing journalists at the resumption of the National Assembly in Abuja. He noted that though the president is already taking steps at, at, at addressing the plight of the citizens, there is still more ground to cover. While acknowledging that the president has taken some courageous decisions to reform the economy, Senator Kalu said true development does, does come with a price. Well, it's not about hardship. It's, the hardship is true. People are suffering. We have hundreds of thousands of workers in our group, and uh, we have some about 10,000 workers entire group we run. And um, we need to pay those salaries, and those salaries are important to be paid. If I fly at any time, buying fuel, I'm attending the private plane, takes almost ten, twenty thousand dollars So I called our senior members in the company, I said, well, I have to also make my own sacrifice. It's not for federal government, it's not for, it's for the good of our company. So I said, fly no more. Fly the commercial, go with the commercial, and uh, save the money for restructuring of our workers, both in Nigeria and West Africa, so that everybody will feed at this time of hardship, because we feel that the reformation going on now has never happened in the last 60 years. No president, no president, as I'm telling you, had the courage to do what President Tinubu is doing now. It's about courage. The man is very courageous in terms of courage. Possibly if I'm president, what he's doing now to reform the economy, taking everything together, I might not do it. I might come slowly, but the man is very courageous. Very, very courageous. Answering questions from journalists on the state of his private aircraft, Senator Kalu maintained that the state of the economy made him pack his jet to enable him to pay needed attention to his chain of businesses. He also answered questions on pressure within the ruling party to restore subsidy. The lawmaker maintained that he will back any decision that will reduce the hardship Nigerians are passing through. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.